And next, I would like to focus on speak, publish, and market through mini books, Made Easy. So you're going to get the simplified version of this. It's a great time, again, to really be taking uh, avid notes. So I want to start off by saying that there's a lot of focus throughout several arenas on speaking and publishing and also creating income and an impact through those efforts. However, the evolution of those areas now begin to shift into using them really as marketing vehicles. So as we know, in the emerging new era of leadership and also entrepreneurship, speaking and marketing really have to work together as a hand in glove. Those are two components that aren't optional <laughs> as it relates to taking your entrepreneur uh, excuse me, your entrepreneurship to the next level. It's really not optional. And I know that a lot of people don't know that as it relates to speaking, you don't have to have a PR firm in order to really effectively promote yourself. And honestly, I know Carrie is going to share a lot about this. It's really not enough anymore for speakers to only have a PR firm or an agent to promote them. As a leader and as an entrepreneur, you must also play a very active role in marketing, even if it's just through you speaking. And I, I need to really emphasize that. <laughs> you have to really be active in your role of marketing and speaking certainly is going to be one of those vehicles that you can use to truly elevate uh, your marketing agenda and also to gain the exposure that you need. And the model for effective outreach and impact is really to speak as a marketer. So the Speak to Marketing path is really one of the newer evolutionary awarenesses that you have to embody. Every time we as leaders or entrepreneurs speak, we are marketing. Speaking really is the new marketing, and honestly, it's really not a new concept. It's just that most are now becoming more conscious of this evolving truth and its effectiveness. And this is really important to bring out as entrepreneurs are evolving their perspectives, they're evolving their frameworks, taking on a brand-new mindset as it relates to how you get your message out. And going back to the question that was asked earlier is when you're implementing all of what you've heard certain experts or quote-unquote gurus say and then you discover this is not working for me, this next level and generation of entrepreneurs are really pioneer leaders. Pioneer leaders have to truly tap into their own evolution in order to produce the marketing frameworks that they are going to need to be most effective. And your marketing model, it shouldn't just consist of just your social media platforms where you're posting ads or promos consistently or even randomly. Your marketing model should really consist of speaking as a marketing strategy. So every time you market, you are speaking and vice versa. And whether it's like Carrie mentioned earlier, it's podcasting or being a guest on other radio platforms, you know, that is a form of speaking to market. So I want you to consider using even an online radio platform, even such as the one that we're on, and or even some of your conference lines that you use for teleclasses and teleseminars. Think about using those in a new way to up-level your marketing approach to speaking. For example, you're present with us during this radio webinar, and we are providing the same aspects that you would see on a regular webinar, but we're choosing to repurpose radio as a webinar so that we can reach a bigger global audience outside of just our traditional following and here's another awareness I want you to think about. This just came to mind um, as it relates to using online radio platforms differently. I actually have structured a radio platform as a mini keynote training resource so that I can model how to effectively communicate as well as showcase my own expertise as a speaker. And when you repurpose and you reposition what you do, sometimes you get a better result. <laughs> 
it is part of the marketing evolution experience in order for you to be what I call remarkable, rememberable, and received because you want to be well-received. Everyone knows as it relates to marketing, it's all about the know, like, and trust factor. How do people come to know, like, and trust you? First of all, your brand has to be impeccable. It has to definitely be remarkable. It has to be something that they remember, and it has to be well-received. So that's very important, uh, very critical as you are shifting from doing some of the traditional marketing frameworks and evolving who you are as a marketer and as an entrepreneur so that you can be most effective in this new emerging era to get the exposure that you need. So I quickly want to shift gears, and I want to start talking about creating mini books. And I need to talk to you about what I call a mini book as a mini intentional messenger book. I know it's kind of a mouthful, <laughs> but that's what I call them. But um, I'm going to simplify and just say that they're mini books. But from my definition, a mini intentional messenger book or a mini book are writings that are anywhere from 20 to 70 pages. And this form of writing for me has really opened up the floodgates of bringing uh, true order and alignment with even greater abundance into my life from a holistic perspective, which for me is very important because from a holistic perspective, it has allowed me to really embody my whole experience so that I can now serve and add value to several different industries by doing so. And also to take sort of the intimidation off of publishing if you're new to writing. If you're a new writer, you've never published before, this is going to be the best form of publishing that you can get into. A mini intentional messenger book or a mini book to me is the best way and it is the easiest way to become published but not only that, you also will be developing a simplistic, customized writing flow for yourself, and it's going to be aligned for you. So that is really, really important. So whether you're trying to get more exposure to showcase your expertise or to up-level even your credibility, writing these mini books or the intentional messenger books can really be a key to your next level of really making the impact and getting more exposure, and that's very important. So let's talk again about many intentional messenger books or mini books. Um, I'm going to let you know that they also make great lead magnets for your business, and they can also serve as sort of an elevated uh, business card or a brochure so that you can showcase your services and your offerings. Now, once you begin writing <laughs> these books, you're going to find that it's a very simplified process. You'll be able to do it with ease. Again, as I mentioned, it's really non-intimidating. And you would be surprised that writing just one mini intentional messenger book could really actually turn into even an entire business, um, and especially as it relates to speaking. So if you are a speaker, I would certainly encourage you to create these mini books so that you can use these to lead you into talks. So next what I would like to do is share sort of an accelerated uh, publishing process for you so that you can have accelerated success with publishing. I am one. I believe that when someone has a message, don't wait until all the ducks are in a row to get it out. Publish some form of that work and do not delay. So. I'm going to recommend using uh, Amazon's print-on-demand publishing platform. It is called Create Space. Some of the benefits of this platform is that you don't even need a budget to publish <laughs> if you don't have one. Also, if you know how to proofread your documents really well or you can enroll someone else who can proofread for you, then CreateSpace is going to be a really great platform. They do offer services, uh, paid services, that you can have editing uh, and um, formatting and marketing. But if you want to just sort of get your feet wet in the publishing industry and sort of try it on for size yourself, then I would definitely recommend that you use their free services, <laughs> again, where you don't need a budget, 
and you can use your own proofreading uh, for yourself or someone else. Also, they provide uh, free ISBNs and book covers, and also some of what I'm going to be sharing. If you follow some of these concepts, you'll be ready for success. So again, I'm going to repeat that. I recommend using Amazon's print-on-demand publishing platform that is called Create Space. And also for first-time authors, <laughs> I am certainly going to recommend that you really publish the mini books. And I'm going to actually give you dimensions and margin uh, settings for how you can get started with this even yet today. So when creating a mini book, I'm going to recommend that you use a 5 by 8 for your book width. And within that, you can put anywhere from 20 to 70 pages within this book. And again, these can be journals, it can be tip books, handbooks, uh, how-to books. I think those are the easiest and the most effective, especially if you're trying to uh, market yourself in different industries or just the industry of your expertise. Handbooks and how-to books are very easy to follow. It gives people an opportunity to see how you showcase your expertise and how you break down what it is that you do. So for the margins, your margins should be set at these dimensions. So from left and right, you're going to put in 0 0.375 which will convert to 38, I'll repeat that, 0 0.375, and it will convert to 38. And then for your top and your bottom, you're going to put in 0 0.25. Again, that's 0 0.25. And actually, the page settings that I am giving you, they apply to all other document sizes. So if you want to do a 6 by 9 uh, as an elevated trainer or so, or even a workbook at, I think the dimensions are 8.5 uh, by 11. Uh, these dimensions will actually work for those as well. But again, I'm going to recommend that you do the mini book at the 5 by 8 first. <laughs> and next, I would actually like to share just a little bit from uh, my publication that's called Simplistic Writing and Publishing Made Easy. It is the seven cornerstones to writing and publishing with ease, and it's a workbook planner, and it, too, is available on Amazon. So I want to share just two examples. I actually mentioned three in this publication, but I want to share two examples of how you can become published within 15 days with ease and success. And there are several ways you can actually become published in 24 hours, but for the sake of creating this intentional messenger book, I'm going to recommend just for excellence that you take maybe at least the 15-day process to do it. So the first example that I would like to offer is about creating a two-day intensive or a writing retreat for yourself, and that can be on the weekend. Again, that's creating a two-day intensive or a writing retreat that you can do for yourself on the weekend. Now, one of the reasons why I recommend doing a two-day intensive, especially if you already sort of know where you're going, you have content that you sort of can bring together, but even if you don't, if you know you're sort of at a deadline and a crunch and you want to get what it is that you have out of you, creating this intensive will bring it out of you, and you're doing it in a retreat form, which is intense, but yet it still can be very enjoyable and relaxing uh, at the same time. So when you do it in this process, you have time for your writing and for your reviewing of your content, and then you still have 13 days left to publish. And another good thing that I want to bring up about Create Space, when you publish through Create Space, it's only a 24-hour a turnaround that your book can be made available uh, to go on sale. So it goes through a review process, and normally it doesn't even take 24 hours, but sometimes it, it could. So if you write in a weekend and then you take the time for those days to start going through your content, especially if you're not going to be proofreading it yourself but you're going to have someone else 
But even if you are going to be proofreading it, this gives you an opportunity to really go through your content. And um, I'm also going to offer (laughs) another bonus for those of you who have to read your own content. If you want to edit like a pro or proofread like a pro, you can actually print out your document and, and read it backwards for the first time. So you can print out your document and read it backwards for the first time, and then you can start reading it uh, normally. And you would be surprised how you will find things that you normally wouldn't, <laughs> but it will help you uh, to be most effective of finding errors and being effective in proofreading. And next, I would like to offer a seven-day process where you're going to be actually writing for five, well, let me say this, 15 to 30 minutes a day. You could do it in five minutes, but I would recommend doing 15 to 30 minutes a day for a seven-day process. And even with this, you still have time for writing and reviewing your content, and then you still have eight days left for publishing. And I also want to mention that even after you go through the review process with Create Space and even if you approve your book, the great thing about this platform and also the benefits of being an uh, independent author uh, doing indie publishing is that you have control and you can go in at any time and make changes to your document. So you don't have to wait on an editor. You don't have to wait on a publishing company uh, to be on their on time. You're able to be on your own time and create success on your terms and do the editing as many times as you choose to. So, again, this is a very uh, non-intimidating process uh, for established authors and new authors.